What is going on everybody? It is Slashback Saturday and welcome to Hood Movies of the 2000s. Oh wait, that's not the theme. The theme is Clown Horror of the 2000s. Wait, that's not it either. It's just clowns. Any slasher movie with a clown in it. The clown doesn't have to be the killer, just has to be a creepy clown in the movie. So today's theme is Creepy Clowns. And I am reviewing the 2000 film from Full Moon, Killjoy. Directed by Craig Ross and starring Angel Vargas as Killjoy the Clown. And Vera Yell as our final girl Jada. Michael is picked on all the time and he's in love with Jada. But Jada's got a big old gangster boyfriend. And when gangster boyfriend finds out that Michael's been sniffing around, he kills him. Now he doesn't mean to kill him. Because Gangster Boyfriend's actually kind of a punk. He shoots him by mistake. Well, Lorenzo and his homies, T-Bone and Baby Boy don't know, is that Michael is into black magic, and he has decided to try and bring about the killer Killjoy to take out the people that are oppressing him, the people that are bullying him, the people that are making his life a living hell. Well... It may take his death to do it, but Killjoy does come around about a year later and start taking out the people responsible for Michael's death. Now this film came out right in the middle of a bunch of hood movies from Now this film came out right in the middle of a bunch of hood horror movies between the years 1995 and 2005. Uh, it also came right in the middle of Leprechaun in the Hood and Bones. And then Leprechaun in the Hood 2, and Killjoy 2, and so on and so forth and so forth. Overall, guys, I gotta say, I found this to be a slow and kind of underwhelming film. And I'm kind of surprised that this film has sparked, I believe it's four sequels? I found that very weird. But it is a full moon title. And we'll see where it goes from here. Maybe some of the sequels get better. I've heard that the sequels are actually better. We'll see. So starting off cons, we've got the bad one-liners. There are some failed attempts at one-liners in this movie. And they just do not work at all. Um, they try to be edgy. They try to be cool. And it just falls flat on its face. Another con I have is that we got a six-shooter that shoots uh, Killjoy 21 times. Yes, I know it's a movie. Yes, you kind of suspend the magical reloading disbelief. But come on, 21 times from a six-shooter? Come on now. The characters, guys, are a big con for me. All of the characters in this movie, with the exception of Killjoy, are just straight-up hood movie cardboard cutouts. They have no personality. They're just flat characters, and I just did not dig them at all. Last thing that I have negatively to say about this film is every once in a while I noticed that the vocal track would get off and it did not meet up with what was going on in the film. Uh, their mouths would be closed and they would say something but yet their mouth was closed. That could have just been the copy I was watching. I don't know. Getting on with some positives though guys. I love Killjoy. I think Killjoy is a good character. I really hope they develop him some more. Let uh, the actor have a little more reign. I thought that Vargas did a good job. I hear that he doesn't play him going forward. It's somebody else. But I would like to see more of Killjoy. So I am going to watch the sequels. At least the first one or two. We'll see what happens after that. I enjoyed the variety and the uniqueness of the kills. We had some different kind of kills here. We had some unique kills. We had some unique kills that didn't just follow the same formula and we didn't get the same kill twice now this is a supernatural slasher so not all of the kills were done the old-fashioned way if you know what I mean guys I've got one more pro for this movie and that is get in my van kitties I'll give you candy Killjoy lures Lorenzo's two little punk ass homeboys into his ice cream truck with the promise of drugs, which just sounded really stupid. I mean, who goes in the hood and says, Hey guys, I got some drugs for you. That just didn't work at all. I thought it was a hilarious, hilarious sequence. 
And I did really enjoy that part. Overall, guys, this isn't the worst movie I've ever seen. It just kind of slow. It plods along. And it was a bit underwhelming. I was hoping for a little more carnage, a little more kill, especially coming from Full Moon. The special effects were really crappy. Really crappy. And I didn't really view them as a con because they just made me laugh. But anyways, guys, that is it for this week. Go and check out Joe the Horror Man. And check out everybody else doing Slashback Saturday. Don't forget to check out my Horror Mob Patreon. And also check out the Teespring merch store, The House of Horrors. Both links will be in the description box below. This is Bronco Juggalo saying, peace. Thank mm-hmm. you.